And in business, the Senate on Tuesday asked the federal government to consider a comprehensive review of the power privatization policy with a view to reversing the current arrangement. The Red Chamber said Nigerians would not enjoy stable power supply in the next 10 years if the activities of the distribution companies were not reviewed and reconstructed. Now, the Senate President Ahmed Lawan stated this on Tuesday after the Senate had considered and approved a motion by the Senator Gabriel Gabriel Suswan on the past sector review recovery plan. Joining us live is Rumun Daka Wonodi, founder and CEO of ZKJ Energy Partners Limited. Thank you for joining us on the news. Uh, thank you for having me, Irene. Good morning. Good morning. Now, the Senate President Ahmed Lawan had asked that Nigeria considers revising, reversing the privatization of the past sector or alternatively cancel the entire privatization pro process completely. Bring us up to speed on what's going on. Well, um, you know, just like you, um, we also uh, saw the reports and um, it's unnerving and jarring, but if you dig deeper, you find out that uh, the Senate president might have just been expressing some frustrations that we've seen in quarters of government where, uh, you know, the, the government feels that it's been spending a lot of money uh, recently, uh, or actually throughout the period that the, the privatization has, uh, has happened, and uh, it's not seen any commensurate um, uh, improvement in power supply to homes and businesses. So this is an expression of uh, frustration. Uh, like you would also remember, the National Executive Council uh, set up a committee headed by Governor El Rufai of uh, Kaduna State to look at the ownership of the distribution companies to find out whether uh, the, the investors have corporate governance issues that might have impeded their making uh, uh, all the, uh, taking the companies to a level that is expected. Uh, but they also had uh, decided to broaden that, uh, the terms of reference of that committee, to look, uh, to take a holistic look at the, at the power sector. So uh, in different quarters uh, in government, there has been expression of a, some type of frustration, and the, the government is trying to see what they can do. Um, uh, to make sure that the privatization and the reform, you know, yields benefit to to the nation. But I, I, I think so. That's what I, I, I would. Uh, I don't see how reversal uh, will bring a uh, make uh, improve improve the industry for us. I think we just need to stay consistent with the reform and uh, and see it through. Now, what's more important is, you know, solution. So how can we increase electricity access during these tough times to ensure it is accessible at the necessary levels, particularly during this lockdown? Well, I think that the very first thing that we need to do is actually to look at the product that we give out to people. Um, during this lockdown, there is no magic that could be done to increase uh, power supply uh, if there are constraints at transmission and distribution ends. The investments need to be made. And I think this is one of the issues that we face in, the, in this industry. Everybody thinks that, um, a lot of people think that things could be done overnight. Uh, no, but there are things that we can do. We can begin to give people predictable power. So if you're going to get people to have four hours or six hours, let them know exactly when this can come up. I think that's uh, the uh, what we can do in the short term so that we begin to have some predictable power supply that would allow people plan their lives around that. At 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 megawatts for a country of uh, 180 to 200 million people, there is no way you can guarantee people 24-7. It's, uh, it's impractical. But what is practical is that you can tell people that they expect four hours and then you tell them when the four hours are coming and then they could actually begin to plan around that. 24-7 uh, will take us a, a much longer time to get there. Thank you so much for joining us on the news. Thank you. Certainly.